this video I'm going to show you how to use Access Analog's Analog Matrix plugin along with Kakos Reaper. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I just like talking about really cool things that make my job easier and better. Access Analog is a revolutionary service that allows even the most budget-friendly audio engineers to be able to use expensive equipment for pennies on the dollar. If you're new to Real Home Recording, I'd like you to check out some of our playlists that are on the front page. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but definitely check out the older videos that are jam-packed with evergreen information. Also, there is a Real Home Recording newsletter, and as a free gift to you, if you sign up, I will send you my mixing cheat sheet that'll help you with nearly every music mix you may come across. Anyway, let's get to the video. Once Reaper is loaded up, you load your tracks. I just have one for simplicity's sake, but normally you would have your normal mix loaded up, ideally without plugins, and I'll get into that later. But go to Options, then go down to Preferences, and then we're going to look for Buffering under Audio. Click that, and you want to disable where it says Anticipative FX Processing. You have to uncheck that, otherwise Access Analog will not work properly if you do a live bounce. After you do that, hit OK, and then we come here. You want to add a new track underneath every track that you're going to process with Access Analog. So Control T to add a new track. And then what we want to do is send the track that's going to have Access Analog on it into the recording track. So there's two ways to do that. You can either hit the IO button on the track that you want to send from, and in that case you hit sends, and then you hit track two. Let me rename that so it's something that makes sense. So I'll, I'll this will be acoustic guitar for the source track, and then for our recording track, what I like to do is put a space, and then whatever hardware you're going to use after it with a dash or a hyphen. So I'll do hyphen because I'm going to use the warm audio. If I was going to use the compressor, I would use, let's say, the, the FET2, or, or is it COMP2? We could call that daking. The other way to do this We'll get rid of the send for now. And the way you do that is you either hit IO here and then delete the send with this button, or I hit IO here and it's going to be under the receives. I prefer using the receives because in that way I can select multiple tracks if I want to. See how it says add receives from all tracks. So now it's getting it from this. But there's one more step. Right click where it says record input. You're going to change that to record output and then record output stereo. Don't choose record output stereo latency compensated. It doesn't work. So click the stereo button, even if you have a mono track, just in case, <laughs> okay? And then you also could set up your send and receive a third way, by the way which is by dragging it from where it says IO to this track down here. I believe you can click it anywhere and that links it up. And there's actually a fourth way to do routing by pressing Alt and the R key. And then we come down here and we find our first track. Actually, I have to remove it. Okay, so that's cleared now. So we find the track we want to send from, and we find the track we want to send to with this vertical naming. So once you do that, you can see by clicking up here that yes, indeed, we are receiving from that track. So there's a lot of different ways to route audio with Reaper. It's great that they give you options because if you 
don't like one way or you forget one way, well, there's three other ways to do it. Because once we get all that finished, then we add the analog matrix plugin, and I prefer to use VST 2.4 for this. So double click on analog matrix, it's the first one on my list, which is great. And then once you, if this is the first time you're, you've signed up, type in your email address at the top, type in your password. You can choose between the Access Analog Classic Rack or the Robot Lemon one. I'll do Access Analog because it has the freebies. Before we connect, I'll also show you the preferences over here in the upper right corner. We can change it so that we have thumbnails over on the left side. Or if you want to see the complete list, turn the thumbnails off so you don't have to scroll. Show tool tips, why not? Automatically process audio after uploading. I don't see why you wouldn't want to do that. And also you can put a log file on your desktop or wherever else you want. So let's keep the thumbnails enabled for now. Once you're ready, hit connect. The most important thing, before you choose your hardware, you want to make sure your connection with the server is solid. Right now, it's a little bit on the iffy side. If I change the buffer so it's a little bit longer at 1000 milliseconds, you see that that line is a little more solid. And if I up it really high, it should be essentially perfect. I like to keep it at a thousand milliseconds. It usually is very stable there. You can also change your transmission format all the way down to a very low quality 128 kilobits or one that's a little bit more CD quality at 512 or even 256. I prefer lossless 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz. I think that gives you a good solid sample rate conversion. If I'm doing a 96 kilohertz project, I'll put it at 16 slash 48. If I'm doing either 44.1 or 88.2, I'll keep it at 16 bit 44.1. Now I do have to change that before I transmit it. If you want to just stay all the same, then you can do that. Then switch it to 24 bit 96 kilohertz and then up your buffer a little bit. Again, paying attention to this buffer history graph, you may want to up your buffer a little bit higher again so the, the lines are more solid. And right now they actually got worse. So let's go back to 600 and see how that works. That looks okay. You wanna make sure everything's good. One other test you could do is let's set this to a thousand milliseconds and then again 16 bit 44.1 go down to the loop back this one right here add this in and then you can check to see how solid the connection is you can hit play at this point this one once all that's addressed 